Hi, in this video, I will implement the interstitial add from Admo to an Android Studio project. I will follow the instruction in the official Admo website using SDK version 19.7.0. As you can see, I already created a project in the Android Studio with two activities. The first activity called main activity, which has a button at the center. And the second one, which I wrote second activity to recognize it easily and see which activity is open. Uh, I'm gonna use two different ways to load and show the full screen ad. At the first, I'm gonna show the ads between two activities. I mean, before opening the second activity, show the ad. Then by closing the ad, we'll proceed and opening the second activity. The second way is loading and showing the ad in the same activity, one after one, without leaving the activity. Also, I will use different requests for personalized and non-personalized ads. Is going to be useful for handling user privacy concerns. Okay, let's get started. I go to official Admo website to follow the instruction step by step. For the beginning, we should go to the project level of the build grader file to make sure the Google is referenced. In the all projects repositories so I go to project level of the build file and uh, as you see it already exists if Google is not there we should add it manually so for now it's fine second step is copy and paste this dependency to the app level of build gradle So I go here and paste it here into dependencies. And sync the project. While it's syncing, I use the time and add these lines to the Android manifest file. Here to the application as AdMob suggests, I will use this sample app ID for testing and debugging. The syncing is finished, and I can go for the next step. Okay, now I should initialize the AdMob SDK. I copy and paste this into the onCreate method. To import the class, I select the red code and press Alt and Enter. I will do the same for the other errors. Okay, I'm done here. Now I go to Intertertials page. At first, I copy and paste this line here. To import the class, use Alt and Enter. Then we should create an add request. This add request is serving for personalized app. 
For now, we make it separately. Create personalized add. I press Alt and Enter to create the method automatically into the main activity class. Copy and paste this line into the create personalized add method. Here, like so. Now it's time to load our intertertials app. To do this, I copy all these lines and create another method for loading the app. I call it create interstitial add and needs to pass the request here. Then paste, then paste the codes here into this method. Now needs to import the class by Alt and Enter to get rid of all the errors. Also, these logs are going to be helpful, so I keep them. Just change the tag to add mob. Good. Now I call create interstitial add right after creating the add request. And pass the request to the create interstitials add like so. Now we need to set the callback. The best place to set the callback is after successfully loading the ad. So I'm gonna copy and paste it here. Then to import the class, press Alt and Enter. This one should be closed. As I said, for first, I want to show the add between two activities. So this is our button, which we have it here. I already cast it and created and unclick listener for that. For showing the ad, I'm using this code. If interstitial ad is not null, then show the ad. Here, I have to update the context. Otherwise, open the second activity. needs to use intent. Also, I copy and paste this one after on add this missed full screen content right here. Let's take a look. It seems it's ready. 
Let's test it. As you can see in the log, ad is loaded. Now I click on the bottom to show the ad. And now when I close it, should go to the second activity. There you go, second activity. Let's go back. See here, ad is loaded again. Let's try another time. Yes, it's working. The second practice is showing the ad one after one without leaving the activity. Now I'm gonna remove this because I don't want to open the other activity. Also, I remove the same code from on add dismissed full screen content, and instead, I request for another interstitial ad. Like this. Let's test it. I remove the logs. Okay, the ad is ready. I click on the bottom to show and request for another ad. When I dismiss the ad, yes, it loaded. Again, close and load it. Okay. Now, to use user privacy consent, I should provide a non-personalized ad request. To do that, I copy and paste this line, and instead of create personalized ad, I call it create non-personalized ad. Then, instead of this part, I go to the Admo website, and use this one to request add. So, I don't want to go through the user privacy consent and how to provide a form, but simply I create a boolean variable I call it EU consent then set the value manually to false then I go to uninitialized complete and type if EU consent is true, then create personalized ad. This part means user consented. Else create non personalized ad means user didn't consent 
I just manually set the value to the false to show how it's working. But it should be depend on what user chooses. So the non-personalized ad request must pass to load the interstitial ad. Otherwise, create personalized ad will be called. I also put a log here. And here. Let's test it. As you see, non personalized ad request. Okay. I forgot to copy and paste this part to undismissed full screen content. Let's test it again. Okay. Known personalized ad request and ad loaded. Add is shown, dismiss, another known personalized ad request, and load it again. And if user consented, it's going to load a personalized ad request. Like so. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please do not forget to like. And if you wish to see more videos like this, please subscribe.